Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Policy the son of Nuba is my name and I hope I find you well. It's a Friday and many of you are already preparing to go on a weekend. Of course, some of us are still at work. Uh, but of course, uh, we are doing this not unmindful of the fact that uh, tomorrow is a weekend. So I'm not going to take much of your time. But I wanted to touch base with what is happening in Zimbabwe. Many of you might already know that there is an ongoing war between dealers in foreign currency and the Zimbabwe Republic Police. Uh, the latest case of interest being a high-profile arrest that was made uh, the day before yesterday of a man called Neville Mutswangwa. You may already be mindful of the likeness of his surname with that of the Minister of Information that is Monica Mutswanga and the former Minister of War Veterans that is Christopher Mutswanga. Yes, indeed, uh, he is their son. He is the son of Chris and Monica Mutswanga. And you remember that Chris also is the spokesperson of the ruling Zanu PF party, which is the party in government. And now we have their son being arrested. And what do we get from the parents? From what uh, we have come across, there is an audio and this seems to be interviews where the Minister of Information, that is Monica Mutswanga, is distancing her son from illegal dealing uh, in foreign currency. This is despite the fact that before he was even arrested, there were messages on social media where uh, there was a screenshot purportedly from a status update on WhatsApp where he posted the rate of the ZIG, that is the Zimbabwe gold currency, that is the currency which has become the new center of attraction in Zimbabwe, which has become the battlefield as police and the illegal dealers in foreign currency, that is the street dealers, have been running uh, cat and dog fights on the streets of the major cities in Zimbabwe. And he posted, purportedly, on his status update on WhatsApp, uh, giving a rate of one US dollar to 18 zig, which is an inflation of the price of uh, the US dollar against the zig, because the government said the rate is one US dollar to 13 uh, zig 56 cents. Um, so he has been inflating the price of the US dollar uh, allegedly, let me say, because this screenshot is not verified that it is his, but it has been flying around. And before then, there were people who were saying that this guy and one of the president's own sons are the guys that are running this uh, illegal foreign currency dealing. But of course, the mother has said that his son, I mean her son, is not dealing in foreign currency illegally. She has purportedly in an audio said that this is political persecution of her son. But this is an old man whom we expect because we have already seen videos of him being taken to court today. That is, um, he's been taken to the Harare Magistrate Court where he is expected to appear on allegation that he contravened section 14 subsection 1 of the bank use promotion and suppression of money laundering act. That is the act that is being charged or accused of having contravened. But the mother is saying that this is political persecution. Uh, he is not dealing uh, in illegal, uh, in forex illegally. We expect this old man to appear in court to defend himself. We expect him to appear in court with the aid, of course, of his legal team. We don't expect undue influence from those who are supposed to be helping government fight illegal foreign currency dealing. It might be uh, political persecution based on ZANU-PF internal uh, 
seizures, but we don't still, still we don't expect uh, those who have not been accused to be the ones uh, doing the bidding for him. He's an old man who should be able to stand his ground in court, and if he's found to be uh, innocent, we expect him to be freed, but uh, if he is guilty, as he has been charged, then he must pay because we all want a working Zimbabwe. We all want a Zimbabwe where there is no impunity, where people use their proximity to those that are in power to then uh, breach some statutes, to then uh, have a leeway to do as they please in the country. Nobody must be above the law. I am not saying uh, Neville Mutsonga is guilty. It's for the cause to say that. But what I am saying is, if this is political persecution, the cause will say there is no case against him and he is going to be freed. And we don't expect police then to be put under pressure by those who should be speaking on behalf of the government uh, saying that, because what this means is that what the opposition has been saying all along, that they, some of their officials have been arrested, have been victims of political persecution, uh, they have been right. Yet we are in a country that admittedly uh, is reeling under economic sabotage by both members of the ruling party and those of the opposition, by both players in the public sector and the private sector. And we must be uniting as Zimbabweans, not around political persecution, but around arresting those that are hemorrhaging the country's resources, that are working against the economic standing up of the country, the economic recovery of the country. So we expect Mr. Neville Mtswangwa to appear in court. He was taken to court about an hour ago, and we expect him to face uh, his day in court, to speak uh, his mind, not his mind, to represent or to present his own case with the aid, of course, of his legal team. We'll keep you updated on this, but we hope that this is not going to be a flash in the pan. It's not going to be the only case where those that have been fingers that have been fingered in corruption, that have been fingered in illegal dealing in foreign currency, in foreign currency, we expect all of them to be arrested if there is evidence. Of course, where we do expect police to first investigate and then arrest, and we hope that this man who has been arrested is indeed uh, one of those that are many who have been fingered and who are going to be arrested. We keep uh, a keen eye on this particular case, and we hope that it is going to open more flat case for arrest of those that have been accused of dealing in foreign currency. And this is going to give uh, the much needed confidence in the government that this time around it is serious about arresting foreign currency dealers not those that are found on the street who are the small fish but we want the big fish who are behind this to be arrested to be charged and to be sentenced to face the music thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it but also participate in this debate what do you think do you agree that this is a case of political persecution do you agree that this guy is heavily involved in foreign in foreign currency dealings if so, use the comment section underneath this video to participate in this debate or WhatsApp us on plus 27-73-962-3075. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.